Milking a 600 kilogram Holstein, now that's easy. Milking a one gram almond, that's hard. Tiny little udders, like tiny. That's a picture of my grandfather in World War II. When he got back from the, from the war, he started this here nut milkery and I'm third generation nut milker now and I love what I do. There's so much confusion in city folk these days. They're talking about nuts don't lactate, nuts don't have nipples. I'll show you a nut nipple. So this is a tandem nut milker. It milks two nuts at a time. Uh, it's comfortable for them. They want to be milked. You'll never see a happier nut than a freshly milked nut. And, uh, you can hear them a little bit. If you listen, you hear that, hear that chirping? That's a happy nut. Back in the old days, we used to train gerbils to milk the nuts, but they would eat some of our herd and it wasn't ideal. So these dual nut milkers have really changed the game. I'd say, that's well, I know exactly how many we got. We got 564 of these running 24 seven. It's quite the operation. So it takes about 200 almonds to get a half gallon of almond milk. And see that, that rare, that's what you get from a couple of nuts. Looks like milk to me. Mmm, nice and warm. All our almonds are fully organic, grass-fed. Oh, this will last them a good month, I'd say. All these ones you see here, these are females. Now, the ones you see in the store, those are all males. They have no udder at all. And most people go their whole lives and see nothing but a male almond because, well, we don't let the females off the farm. You gotta be careful if you're gonna pick up and pet an almond. They'll, they'll jump right out at you, poke you in the eye. Whoa, whoa, easy girl. Hardest part for sure is, uh, learning the art of properly sexing the nuts. Because if you don't do that properly, it can really cut into your bottom dollar. Female. I don't even really know what I'm looking for when I do it. Male. I had to learn it from my father and he learned it from his grandfather. You, you kind of just look at the back end of it and you, I guess you, you feel the essence of the nut and you can just kind of tell if it's a male or a female. When it boils down to it, it's, it's really an art. It's something that takes time to do. You know, it's a hard job, but uh, I'm living the dream and nothing makes me happier than knowing that my hard work went into making this nut milk happen. I wouldn't do anything else.